Now this is going to be a very beginner friendly template. So if you're new to making rhinestone templates or you've been struggling with making rhinestone templates, this is probably gonna be the easiest template that you'll create. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your Tumblr wrap starting off in Silhouette Studio and then putting everything together so you can make a wrap for your Tumblr like this here. So the supplies that you're going to need were one, Silhouette Studio, at least a designer edition to have access to the rhinestone panel. You're gonna need some hot fix rhinestones. Your Tumblr wrap template, once you've created and cut it out. You'll also need whatever color of HTV glitter that you want. And this is, uh, the brand is Caesar. You'll also need some hot fix tape, as well as a piece of bling anything material. And I will have where you can purchase all of these materials linked below in the description box. So first we're gonna go ahead and go over to the computer to Silhouette Studio and we're going to create our actual template so we can then put everything together and create our wrap for our Tumblr. So I'm gonna go on over to the computer and we'll get started there. All right, so we are in Silhouette Studio. And I just wanted to point out that I do use the business edition, but you only need to have at least the designer edition to have access to the rhinestone panel. I'll make sure to have a link below in case you don't have Silhouette Studio designer edition or business edition and was considering to purchase it to use. Now this is going to be a very beginner friendly template. So if you're new to making rhinestone templates or you've been struggling with making rhinestone templates, this is probably gonna be the easiest template that you'll create. So we'll go ahead and jump right into getting this created. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my screen bigger. And then off to the left hand side are your different tools I'm gonna go to the drawing tools and select a square or a rectangle and then just draw that on your background here and it doesn't matter what size it is because we're going to adjust the sizing on this anyways so up here at the top where you have your height and your width we're going to go ahead and change both of those so for your width you want that to be 9.500 then I'm just gonna tap over. For the height, you want that to be 8.400. This particular template is for a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. So if you have a 30 ounce or whatever the case may be, you'll want to make sure you're adjusting your sizing for that particular size tumbler. So once I have those sizes in there, then I'm gonna just hit enter and then we are good to go. So we have our width down here at the bottom is the 9.5 and then our height 8.4. So then we'll go ahead and open our rhinestone panel. So there are two ways to get to the rhinestone panel. The quickest is probably just going to the left hand side here and clicking on this little diamond type icon. Or you can go up to your panels tab and just go down to rhinestones. So whichever one you prefer, but there's two ways that you can open the rhinestone panel. And so we'll go ahead and open that and this here will pop up and that is your rhinestone panel. And so I'm gonna go ahead up to the effects here and I'm going to do a linear fill because we want to fill this square or this shape in. So if we were just doing a simple outline of something, then we would click edge and that only gives it up uh, outline but we want to make sure this is completely filled so then I'm gonna click on the linear fill and that fills in our shape here and if you go down here at the bottom to the totals it'll actually show how many stones that you're gonna need for the particular size stone in Silhouette Studio it automatically defaults to SS10 
So if you want to change your sizing of the stone, you would do that here. Otherwise, it'll default to SS10. For this particular template, it would take 2,850 stones to fill in this entire template. So now that we have our template created, I'm actually just going to add an outline for when I cut. And I'm gonna just go back to the drawing tools, grab another shape, another rectangle, and I'm gonna just draw an outline around our template. And right there is good. So now we've made our template, we've made our cut outline, then we're ready to go ahead and send it to our machine to cut. Now I'm not gonna go through the entire steps as far as cutting the actual flock. I already have a template cut, but I wanted to show you all the settings that I use in case you're making this template. So I have a rhinestone template that I actually edited the initial template that is in here and changed the cut settings. So for my blade depth, I usually have that about six or seven. And then the force will be 22, your speed 10, and passes two. So these are the settings that I use. I found that they work really good when cutting rhinestone flock. And so I just created this material, kind of like um, your own template material you can create within Silhouette Studio, your cut setting. And then once you're ready, you would go ahead and load your mat with your flock and then send for it to cut. So since I already have one cut out, we'll go ahead back over to the table and I'll show you guys how to put everything together to create the finished tumbler wrap. All right, so now we're back at the table. We have our template cut out. So we are going to make our transfer for our wrap. So I'm gonna just place this down. Then I'm going to grab a couple of brushes here. And these are just painter's brushes. You can get these at pretty much any um, hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Walmart sells them as well. And so I'm gonna just pour my stones all over. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just brush those in. And I just kind of use like a circular motion just to brush them in. And because this is a bigger, bigger template, it may take a little bit okay, of time. So I got all my stones onto my template. Then I cleaned everything up. And then next we're gonna go ahead and grab our piece of transfer tape. So I'm gonna just tear that off. And then I'm just going to place it on the side and then lay it over. Some people just drop it down on there. That did not work good for me when I did try that method. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay it down on the side. And just press that down against the table. And then I'm going to lay it down over the stones. And one thing that I found is helpful to make sure you get all the stones is to use this here roller. And then I'll go ahead and lift that up. And I'm going to lift it up slowly just in case any stones don't lift. Then I can just lay my tape back down and press on those. I also have a stone that I see that shifted. So this one here. So I'll come back and fix that. All right, so all of our stones 
have lifted. I do have one right here that I need to fix. So I'm going to just grab my tweezers and just kind of guide it back into place. Okay, and we're good to go there. So now I'm gonna go ahead over to the heat press so then we can start pressing everything together. So my press is heated up and ready to go. So first we start by pressing the Bling Anything material in the HTV. So the Bling Anything material has a shiny side and a dull side. You want the dull side down and you'll place that on your press and then your HTV you want to leave that carrier sheet on there and then you're going to press with the dull side down on top of the bling anything material so you just put that down you can use some heat tape if you want to i'm not going to in this case because it's laying pretty flat and stable so then i'm gonna just go ahead and press that and i'm pressing at 320 degrees for 15 seconds all right, so that is ready. And it will be hot, so you might want to give it a second just to cool a little bit. And then you're actually going to peel away the carrier sheet from the HTV. And then that you'll have your HTV press and stuff onto that bling anything material. So then we'll go ahead and grab our transfer and then we're just going to place that right on top. And you do want to be careful that you don't move any stones or your transfer doesn't fold over and stick together or anything like that. So then you're just gonna lay that right within that HTV glitter. And I'm not using any firm pressure. I'm just kind of making sure that is stuck on that HTV glitter where I want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my temperature to 335 degrees and for 30 seconds. So then that is all press and I'm just going to go ahead and lift that hot fix tape and everything press really good. And I'm just going to go ahead and do another quick press just to make sure all the glue did activate and that it is definitely adhered to that glitter. So I'm going to do a second type of a reassurance press. And I do the same thing when I'm making t-shirts as well to make sure that glue is fully activated and it does stick to whatever item you're putting it on. All right, so everything is pressed and this will be really hot. So I'm gonna give it a second to cool down. Then I'm gonna take it back over to the table so I can trim around. All right, so my wrap has cooled down. And so then I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out. And these are some other colors that I made so you kind of see what it looked like with different types of glitter, different stones. And if you want me to do a video showing you how to create the wraps for the Starbucks tumblers, let me know. All right, so I like to get as close as I can to my stones without cutting or scratching your stones. So I just cut around. And I'll go ahead and speed this part up as well. All right, so now we have our wrap cut out and so it is now ready to place on your tumbler you just want to make sure you measure 
it before you peel the backing off. And so you just peel that backing off and that sticky adhesive is what's going to adhere to your tumbler. And if you want to, um, sometimes I do make mine a tad bit bigger. And so a lot of times I might have to cut off an extra row, but measure it around your tumbler first before you do any adjustments, any um, cutting anything off to make sure that it fits and so that you'll know if in fact you need to cut any of the excess off or if you're fine and don't need to make any changes. So this is how our template turned out. Looks really good. I do have a few different color ones here that I created just so you can see the differences in the different um, color glitters with the stones, how they look. And this one, this is an opal with a white glitter. Um, I think is yeah, regular white glitter HTV. So those are some of the different colors that I created. So we went from this to this. And if you want me to do a video showing you how to make the wraps for like the um, Venti tumblers, just let me know. And then I'll also do a video for making these as well for the cup, the lid. And then this is also a part that goes around the lid as well. But if you have any questions about anything I did in this video, as far as the tutorial in Solo West Studio or how to press everything together, let me know in the comments and I will definitely answer. I'll also drop links, have er links for everything where I get all of my supplies from. I'll have those links in the comment or in the description box for you as well. So I hope this video was helpful and I will check y'all out in the next video. Bye.